Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. Warning you in advance, this behind the scenes episode has very little hot pepper content. Today will be the last time for the foreseeable future that I'll be producing music here in my attic recording studio. That's because I'm moving the studio down a level to my office, which is actually one of the bedrooms in our 1913 Minneapolis home. I do love working up here because it's very cozy and cabiny, but I want to have all my creative tools in one location so I can instantly jump between tasks as the need arises or inspiration strikes. There are other considerations such as unsolvable room acoustic problems due to the low slanted ceiling and computer problems I've been unable to sort out so far. My computer in my office is quite powerful and should be capable of performing the additional duties of music production. I hope to get this rack of equipment relocated today. I'll have to remove all the gear before I move it down the narrow stairway to my office. As you might guess, there are many cables and cords involved in this setup, and I'm going to have to take photos and notes so that I can get everything hooked up correctly after the move. Let's get started. Here's the back of the rack. And here's what I mean about the mess of cables. I'm not looking forward to getting this all set up again. I haven't moved this rack in a while, and look at how much cat hair it's attracted. When the manufacturer was specking out materials for this rack, they obviously took great care to find the one fabric that attracts more cat hair than any other in the known universe. I'll try and vacuum it a little bit more often after it moves downstairs. So I took the photos to document the wiring, removed the gear, and texted Bill, my helpful next door neighbor, to come and help me move the rack downstairs. Once there, I started the long process of getting it all set up again. In the middle of that job, I heard noises coming from the kitchen and went downstairs to investigate. I was very excited to find Kat making me a fresh batch of seven pot paste because she noticed the bottle was nearly empty. I really do have the best wife ever. So now I finally have almost all my gear moved and wired up in its new home and I'm excited to get back to work making music and videos of course in my unified creative studio. Let's take a little tour around the room. One thing that hasn't moved is the arrow garden which is remaining in its spot by the window. I'm really overdue to film a new episode about it so look for that soon. Here's the rack, newly and pretty neatly wired up if I do say so myself. It's minus a few pieces of gear that I haven't been using lately. I'll be listing these gems on eBay in the near future. Here I am, seated on the bridge of Starship Seven Pot Club in front of my beloved Anthrocart modular desk that I've had for about 15 years. They don't make them like this anymore. I have many of the accessories installed, including these side racks holding my audio monitors, a junk box, an extra shelf, cord troughs, and of course the spring-loaded keyboard shelf that allows me to work sitting or standing. I even have little mouse pad extensions for that shelf. It took me days to assemble this monstrosity, and I can't imagine ever disassembling it, so I guess it will have to remain with the house if we ever decide to move. Next to the desk is my 88-key MIDI controller. It doesn't make any sound on its own, but it allows me to play any of the thousands of sounds available via computer virtual instrument software. I won't bore those of you who aren't into recording and computer gear, but I'll put a complete equipment list in the video description for you gearheads. I apologize that this move has delayed my video and music production, but I hope you'll enjoy the new content I'll be creating in my revamped space. Now that the heavy lifting is over, I'm excited to get back to work. First, I need to get our 2018 tax info organized for our preparer, transplant a bunch of hot pepper seedlings, complete some unexciting but billable work stuff, but after that, get ready for more new episodes. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive notifications as we post new episodes. We now have Seven Pot Club logo t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more, all available in a variety of colors. And if you're interested, please head over to sevenpotclub.threadless.com. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily updates on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob.